Okay, we have a new flywheel that just came in today, and clutch and pressure plate came in today, which I got to throw out there, and I really don't need that because I got one of these right here. And I'm ready to put it back together. Uh, I got the lining pins, the dowels put back in. Uh, I'm having an issue right here. Uh, I didn't see it until I took the uh, shield off, but <laughs> that trucker's got a crack all the way from there to there. You can see it right there. And there's another split somewhere. I can't remember where it was. I was looking at it. But if you look down in here a lot, I'm a lot. I do that. There it is. Oh, the well, light ain't very good, but you can see the crack. You know. So, that one's shot. I'll have to get a new uh, exhaust manifold. And I'm waiting. Uh, it took a while on that uh, clutch and pressure plate because they lost it. They didn't lose it. There's the other crack right there. They look like uh, mold castings, but that's not what that is. It's a crack there, straight across here, and a little fine one right there. And then it's cracked all the way down. Oh, that gun line ain't worth a flip right now. So, there's another one of them I gotta get. And I have the oxygen sensor ready to go in. Uh, now, we get it up. Uh, we'll get it up and um, put the flywheel and the clutch and pressure plate on. And then tomorrow, if I got time, I'll put the uh, slave cylinder on. We'll get it in. I might get that in today. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, it's not going to be no big deal. There's two bolts hold it in. One on top there, and then there's one on the bottom down there. And I got the uh, spoon to be able to disconnect the line. The problem is, is uh, saving that oil, keep it from leaking everywhere. I need to put new oil in it anyway, so I'll probably flash it, flush it and get new oil. But, uh, I am ready to start sticking this thing in come tomorrow once I change that out. I'll change it, I'll bleed it uh, before I put it all back together. I mean, well, no, when I put it in there, I'll bleed it uh, with gravity. Because you can tell the bleeder's on top up here. So once it starts coming out the end of it there, it'll be okay. Um, I'll probably have to take that zert off. It's a valve, it ain't a zert, but it's sort of like on uh, brake cylinders, disc brakes, it's just a bleeder, you can bleed it off. Uh, when I take that off, I'm gonna look at that uh, seal that's behind it. Cause there's another plate right there that's behind this thing. There's a plate behind it, so and I've got the seal, and hopefully it's the right one, and I'll change that damn thing out and be done with it. Uh, and then after that, she's hopping in. But today, we put the new uh, flywheel and clutch and pressure plate on and set it back down for the starter's rebuilt. It's just sitting on there right now. Uh, I thought about putting oil in it and spinning the motor, but then I got an issue with the oil filter has to be off to be able to uh, bolt the motor in with the motor mounts, so I'll just do it when it's in the truck. Uh, it'd be tricky, but I'll do it. I don't know, I might go ahead and put the filter on it, fill it up with oil, spin it, take the filter back off, and uh, hopefully I won't leak oil everywhere. So there you have it. Uh, issue. <laughs> There's a reason the damn thing wasn't running right. One reason. Plus all the freeze plugs. Cracked head. Uh, she's going in. She'll be brand new when I get done with her.
face. Man, 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 shot by and all that other good shit. And that's my, uh, my numbers on my video don't match because the batteries, like I said, they're them cheap ass batteries and, uh, it don't hold the memory anymore. So, uh, today is the uh, 19th, July 19th, 2018, uh, 4 p.m. Peace. Oh, my lovely's taking care of the yard. She's loving that thing, I trust me. <laughs> Alright, y'all, peace. Bye.